Hey Switchheads, welcome back and have I got a treat for all you platformer puzzler fans out there. Well, why not hit that like and subscribe button before we get started to keep yourself up to date with all my latest content. Also join us in our community discord, come say hello. And so let's get into my review of Macrotis A Mother's Journey Gameplay. And so you play as Bilby, a mother who has been separated from her children and now has to find her way back to them. The game mixes platformer and environmental puzzles together in a fun and challenging way. I'm not going to touch on every single detail here as it would spoil some amazing story plots. So sometimes I may say something and you kind of like just have to accept it until you actually play it yourself. But trust me, it will be all worth it. The platforming here is handled well with you moving around and a jump and the ability to move obstacles and, you know, push and pull them. And also, as you're a rodent, or at least I think you're a rodent, you can gnaw through some things and some objects like rope and the like. I did find, although, that sometimes from time to time the controls felt a little bit undersensitive, meaning I would have to go back and make a jump like two, maybe three times, or sometimes, unfortunately, have to reset the whole puzzle itself. Luckily enough, this didn't really happen that often but when it did it was a tiny bit frustrating. At some point in the game you will get to be able to leave your body through kind of like an astral projection and there you will gain kind of abilities like phasing through walls and objects and because you're weightless in that state you could also climb on objects you could not climb on before. I found the game kept giving as you progress through the chapters and although it's not the longest game I've ever played I feel it gives value for its asking price there's even collectibles you can search for if you dare then puzzles started easy and as you progressed as you would expect got harder and harder in fact some took me a good 20 to 30 minutes to complete but that's just me and maybe some other people would find it slightly easier. And trust me, there's some really extravagant like set pieces here. And there's even some sections that are time sensitive. So you're almost essentially racing against time to get to where you need to be. And some of these even cleverly add parts for you and your phase self. So you're like switching between the two sometimes. Switches, water elements, boulders, floor pads, and even a turtle. Yep, you heard me, even a turtle but I'll leave that one for you to fully discover yourself. I also found that at times when I truly was stuck, I had to stop and, well, properly sit back and think my way out of the areas. And to me, that's kind of like what a puzzler should actually be getting you to do. Now I can go on and on, deeper in on what's on offer here, but I think for those who are actually looking to buy this game, I feel like they will lose out on some truly great moments. Now graphically, this looks gorgeous. I mean, anyone who, well, basically will say it doesn't look good or great or it just looks okay, well, well, you really do need glasses, my friend. And there's even some truly lovely moments in here that kind of like made me smile and probably make you smile too. Audio wise, it's all voiced. Enough said. Oh, this thing goes down. Of course. We use these types of mechanisms on multiple storage structures for ease of transportation. The good. Great story, great puzzles, looks cool and fully voiced. The bad. Short for some. Controls can sometimes let it down. The score. I rate games out of five and, well, basically work out whether it should be going on the Wall of Fame or the Wall of Shame or maybe somewhere in the middle. And this game truly has earned 
it's four out of five so close to a five out of five but just fell slightly short for me but this is definitely a must for anyone that really enjoys like a puzzler and a platformer and something a little bit different with enough surprises for me to recommend it to more or less anyone and even more so because the asking price is actually quite reasonable and as for my alternative i'm gonna say ori a i've not played it yet but I hear it's a charming, feel good, and it looks kind of like in the similar vein to this one. So yeah, I definitely think once you've completed Macrotis, you should be heading over to Ori, but only when you finished it, as Macrotis is an excellent game. And so, what are your thoughts of Macrotis, A Mother's Journey? Leave them all down in the comments, that is after all where they belong. Hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest, and come and join us in the community discord. Stay for the streaming, come for the chat, <laughs> because life is better when we switch together.